Who was greater, Moshe or Aharon? In Prashat Vaera, the Torah provides us with the genealogy of the tribe of Levi. We arrive in this list at the household of Amram and Yochevet, and there we are introduced to their two sons, Moshe and Aharon. And then the Torah says, Hu Aharon u Moshe. This was the Aharon and Moshe, the people who stood before Pharaoh and delivered us from Egypt. And then that statement concludes, Hu Moshe va Aharon. That, of course, was Moshe and Aharon. So here we have in one and the same statement, first Aaron and Moshe, and then Moshe and Aharon. The order is reversed. Now we know from other instances in the Torah that whenever this happens, the message is one of equality. For example, in the Ten Commandments we're told, honor your father and your mother. And then in Parshat Kedoshim we're told, Ish imo ve'aviv tirau, everybody should revere their mother and their father. The order is reversed in order to let us know that in our homes, fathers and mothers are of equal standing. So therefore the Torah here wants us to know that Aaron and Moshe were equals. But then we must ask, does the Torah itself not say, Moshe, od navi. Moshe was the greatest prophet of them all. And also Moshe, anav mikol adam. Moshe was more humble than any person. It is clear throughout the Torah that Moshe was the more famous and his impact on the nation on generations to come was far more significant than Aharon. So therefore, why are we told that they were equals? Rav Moshe Feinstein gives a wonderful answer. He says that Moshe was great because Moshe achieved his ultimate maximum personal potential. And Aharon did the same. He achieved his personal maximum potential. And that's why they were equally great. And from here the message is that when it comes to greatness, we shouldn't, in a state of weakness, compare ourselves to others or who's better, this one or the other one. No. The way Hashem views it is in terms of us ourselves. To what degree are we maximizing our opportunities, using our talent, using our ability, in order to guarantee that the potential that Hashem has given us will not be squandered? So who was greater, Moshe or Aaron? They were equally great. And what's wonderful to know is that each and every one of us can also be just as great as them. Shabbat Shalom.